initially. Um, initially, it just sounded really cool. It was something because it had, <clears throat> excuse me, nature in it. Um, and I've always really loved nature. So I was just really curious as to what it was because I was always told about it as eco psychology and that was a bit chewy. So I had to experience it to find out what it was. But that was years, years ago, about seven or eight years ago. I think more appropriately is what keeps me here. Um, I've done all the courses, I've co-facilitated almost all the courses and so I keep coming back because of the sense of community that I get with the people. I don't know that many people that are this in tune with nature and are this happy and complete and whole to be connected with nature. Um, usually when I talk with other people I know, it's like, yeah, nature is wonderful. It's you know something we do or something that we do stuff in or something that we go to get rested in, but not from the aspect of actually actively creating a relationship with nature. In fact, that was one of the key elements for me was, or the ahas as I like hit myself on the head was, I didn't ever think of having a relationship with nature, let alone how to go about doing that. So that was, that's the reason I stay with it. The biggest benefit for me um, has been <laughs> There's been all this stuff in me that I didn't understand, all this kind of frustration, like intense misunderstandings of things that would arise in me. And the PNC has allowed me to be more clear about it, to know that those feelings are okay, to, to, ask, to access them and know how to transform those intense feelings and frustrations into something that is useful, into something that is actually peaceful and beautiful. Um, it's also given me a language, although it could be any language, but just a language to talk about that frustration that I have when, when people hurt the environment or, or when I feel overloaded with TV stuff or media stuff, or even other people a lot of times. So for me, the, the biggest benefit has been gaining that clarity in that language to express things that I've already felt and for that to be okay. Well, we did the activities to begin with. It was slower. I've always, I always loved going outside in nature. Um, but now instead of just going outside and going, oh, there's grass or there's sun or, you know, look at the pretty mountains. Um, I've been able to start building that relationship, start having that communication and conversation um, with the deepest parts of me and, and the utmost. So I incorporate it in is that it's in every aspect of my day. I make conscious effort to go outside um, and do some of the Nature Connect activities. I have my favorites, my little bag of Nature Connect activities that I love. Um, and then I've also brought it into my work. So I have been less able to be inside in a nine to five job, but definitely more happy and more content being able to bring my job outside into nature. So I don't know that I've incorporated, but it's definitely my life. It's definitely a foundation, a cornerstone. My favorite part, it, well, one of my favorite parts is that it's not about getting rid of the technology of the mind. It's not about getting rid of the stories. It's about learning how to harness those stories and be able to transform them into something that is supportive rather than destructive. Um, there's one of the, Dr. Cohen has a saying, it's like the four-legged and the five-legged, and together they bring the nine-legged. So we have this ability to have our deepest, deepest feelings that arise and feel those and then we are also encouraged to bring about the thinking and our language to describe those feelings instead of having to get rid of the language. So that's one of my favorite. Um, and then another favorite 
is um, that we're encouraged to to not be just models of each other, to not be the same. We're encouraged to follow our attractions and to let those blossoms in the moment. Um, it's really one of the easiest ways of being fully present is for me to follow my attractions and it's definitely more fulfilling than trying to use my mind to force my way into something. If I just follow my attractions, it's definitely more fulfilling. I would say that one can watch all the videos, one can read all the books, but and to truly understand it, one must, one must go out and experience it. That's the only way to have, to have, instead of having the knowledge, have the wisdom. You can have the theory, but have the experience will make it your own and there, and there lies the value.